Well, can you come with me? Because it's private, and I don't want to go in if it's Aww. private. <laughs> I said I don't blame you because if it's yeah. private, I don't blame you. Yeah. Well, you take care of you. Dad's a bee in the Oh my goodness. Cool. Oh, I'm so glad. Did I have the T-Rex? Oh yeah. Look at him. He's as big as you are. He's even bigger than you. Oh, he's scary. Does he have a big tail? Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. So I'm getting things prepped for homeschool and I decided to kind of just plan a month at a time. Um, so I'm going to just do the month of January. Anyways, so I got all of our reading lessons prepped and what I've done is I've gone through each of the different lessons and I've pulled out all of the activities and all of the reading cards that were supposed to go over each each lesson. Um, and so I have, you know, cut all of the things out. And then I've um, paper clipped it all together and added a sticky note to let me know what lesson we are working on. And then, oh, for this lesson, um, it's about envelopes. And so I've actually attached two little books to the back that my friend Jennifer gave me um, about addresses and letters and stuff like that. And so this is the, um, the lesson that we'll work on Christmas thank you notes. So we had sort of just put off reading for a little bit, um, just the actual like studying of how to learn the words. Aubrey's a really fluent reader and she was kind of just not bored with our curriculum, but she just knew all of it. So we just focused more on actual reading rather than how to decipher words because she knew, she just knew all of the words and it just didn't make as much sense to actually just sit there and teach her how to decode a word when she knew the word. So looking at the rest of the school year, we'll just have to do two lessons a week, um, which is kind of just on pace for what we've been doing all along. So anyways, I'm going to take all of these and I will put the lessons that we are working on. So the two lessons that we'll work on per week will go here into, um, this is my uh, daily binder for homeschool. It has all of my like lesson pages in it. And I've got a couple folders in the back, so I will go ahead and just add those lesson sheets into the folders so that this will be the stuff that we work on for the week. But everything for the rest of the month will get stored into this binder. So this is our language arts binder, and I'm going to go ahead and add all of the rest of the month's lessons into this folder here. So they will live in there, and yeah. I haven't done much with this binder because really, to be perfectly honest, since homeschooling is so new to us, I just wasn't sure what I wanted to put in here and how I wanted to fill it. Now that I have a couple months under my belt, I have a few ideas. So anyways, I'm surrounded by stuff. We've got through reading and we have a few more subjects to go, but it is totally fun. And I'm absolutely just kind of really getting excited for school. Okay, y'all, I need to share with you about my friend, Lisa Rippey. She is amazing. I often think of her as the Southern Beth Moore. Even though Beth Moore is Southern, she's Southern Texas. And Lisa is like, so she's like Southern as in like the Southern U.S. I don't know. She's just amazing. She is equipped and called to share God's word. Her heart for home is huge. And she's built her ministry, My Interior Inspirations, all around. So here's her channel on YouTube, My Interior Inspirations, and she started a new series called Absolutely. And I'm telling y'all, I'm standing in my kitchen getting prepped for dinner, and whoa, I am just so excited for what's to come. She's just amazing, and she just brings God's word, and she's so uplifting, encouraging, and inspiring. 
If you want, you should go back and look at her old videos for the past couple years. She has some incredible series. So she's got series all about homemaking and home and Bible studies and um, just the most encouraging stuff. If you are a woman who loves home, loves Jesus, and loves family. I started re-watching a lot of her videos um, just after Christmas, just getting encouraged and inspired and ready for 2018. She is, has a heart of gold. You can find her on Facebook as well as her website, and you will not be sorry. So earlier I showed you my language arts folder, and this is our science folder. We are doing um, Swimming Creatures of the Fifth Day. This is Apologia, and I thought I'd show you inside this binder. Because I actually have a couple printables in here. So this was um, something that I put together to so that I would have all the supplies that I needed for each lesson. I kind of just went through the book and made a little checklist for myself. And then I, there's a scientific speculation sheet that uh, comes with your stuff, and it was ugly, and <laughs> I'm just extra, so I made my own, so I just print one off when we need one. And then I have loose leaf paper, and I have a matching folder to put whatever in. And then it all lives in the science cupboard. And... And I'm totally watching The Waltons tonight on the portable DVD player. Um, I don't, <laughs> I think I'm on like series, season six, I think. And some of these older ones are really creepy. Please take me home. Don't be frightened. It'll be like old times. I am not Gabriel. I am Aaron. No. I'm not to lose you. Nothing is ever going to take you away from me again. Okay, so this thing right here that's like trying to overtake my living room and needs to come out of the plastic so it can really overtake it is a Tempur-Pedic mattress that we got for free. My husband went to the States to pick it up. He, Shane has a friend who, I don't know how he has these. It's, I think it's part of his job. But he gets a couple free mattresses at the end of the year. And we were the lucky recipients of one. And I'm so stinking excited. The mattress that we have is really old. Um, we haven't slept on it our entire marriage because we lived with his parents for a long time and we did a whole home gut and renovation, but we got it at a Black Friday sale for 200 bucks. It's incredibly uncomfortable, but we were really broke when we first got married um, and it was a good deal at the time because apparently it was supposed to be a thousand dollars don't think so. Anyways, we have a Nova Foam Gel Mattress Topper from Costco, and I absolutely love, whoa, that's like blinding. <laughs> I absolutely love the Nova Foam Topper. It's amazing, and I'll miss it, actually, but from what I hear, Tempur-Pedic is amazing, so I'm really excited about it. Also, I've been adding a little bit of this to my coffee. It's peppermint hot cocoa to make my own um, peppermint mocha. And it's been really good. I can't do this much longer because I'm going back sugar-free soon, but yeah. So I'm watching the Waltons yet again, and I've had to rewind this scene twice to make sure I heard what I really thought I was hearing. And Elizabeth handed John Curtis his bottle, and she said, Here, John Curtis, your favorite soft drink.
So I wanted to share with you a little project that I'm working on, just a real quick thing. Um, I love these frames from Michaels. They are the Studio Decor line. They're never on sale. They're kind of their everyday value, but I always get these. I love the white ones, um, but I'm going to get some of the black ones for my haul because I have black frames in my haul, but everywhere else I like to use the white, and they come with a really nice matting inside that you can either use with the frame or without. So if you've been with me for any amount of time, you know that I have a really difficult time filling frames. Um, I went for a really long time without frames in my house for like years. Um, and so I decided that done is better than perfect. So a few months ago, I decided to drop my perfectionism and just do it. And so what I did is I got my frames and I printed pictures from my computer. So I use a program called HP Instant Ink, and it is the best thing, the absolute best deal that you will get on ink, and it prints quality prints every single time. You never run out of ink, so you're always getting a really great print. So I just go into all my photos on my computer, select the ones that I want, and then I load them into PowerPoint. And I resize them and I recolor them, um, just I select black and white because that's kind of the vibe that I've got going on. And I simply just print on computer paper. This is not photo paper. This is not cardstock. This is just plain old copy paper. And then I just cut it out and I add it into my frame. So as you can see, you can see the outline of the photo here. And I just make it a little bit bigger than the actual square itself. I center it, flip it over, make sure it's sitting where I want it to. And then I tape it down and then I seal it up. And bingo bango, it is done. And these two photos are going to go in my bathroom. There's my little son. Um, and we'll put some hooks underneath, like for our towels. And it's done. And I can easily switch them out. And it's good. So I'm working on some um, papers for oh, this little folder thing that I have that I'm going to be hanging in our command center. And I'm kind of making this so that my kiddos can use this paper. So I'm using big, bold fonts. I've put our address on this sheet as well as Shane's phone number and my phone number. And then on the very bottom, I've added this little line, stay calm, it will be okay, breathe, I love you. Should anyone have to use these emergency numbers, I just want them to have that reminder. And if you hear that noise in the background, that's just my DVD player watching the Waltlands. It's old. So I'm sitting here in the classroom getting ready to plan for the new week. Um, Sunday night is always my planning night and I've got all my things um, except my stickers. Anyways, I was thinking of filming a plan with me. It's a little too late tonight, but my plan for next week is to actually film my plan with me and to film a Sunday prep. Um, I started to film a Sunday prep today, however my camera battery died. Um, so those two things will be coming. So hopefully that sounds appealing. If not, that's okay too. <laughs> um, we are getting ready for Shane to go out of town to work. He will be gone for the next few months actually. So this is a really big week for us getting ready for that. Well, hey guys, today is Colt's fourth birthday and I thought I would show you what we got him for his birthday. I actually may have to break this up because I think he needs me in a second, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna share with you. 
but we got okay so first we got him a pair of socks little kiddo's feet are growing so these looked really nice and then we got him a bathrobe so if you know anything about my son he loves dinosaurs he loves to be cozy and he used to have a bathrobe and he wore it all the time but he recently well not recently but he outgrew it within the past year so anyways we got him a bathrobe and then this is a little Daniel Tiger set and I actually picked this up secondhand at the time I bought this he absolutely loved Daniel Tiger I spent like two dollars on it um, he's not so much into him anymore but this is kind of why I don't like to spend a whole whack load of money on character toys just because they kind of go in and out with them so the kiddos um, are kind of still at the young age where they don't understand that one another has a birthday and that doesn't mean that they get something too um so we actually just get Aubrey something small so these are some stickers and a little this is a little American girl doodle pad um actually her grandma picked this up for her and it was gonna be like a stocking stuffer but we had way <laughs> way a lot of stuff for Aubrey so I have just set those aside for her so next is the Despicable, Despicable Me 2 DVD. For some reason, Colt like, loves Despicable Me, and it's no longer on Netflix. So this was only $6 on Amazon. So this is going to be a gift from Aubrey. This Playmobil set was initially going to be for Aubrey, but um, Colt fell in love with Playmobil too, and we didn't have another set for him. So because it's actually a boy and a girl set, we're, I'm going to give this to both of them. And they actually both play with Playmobil together, so I think this will be a really great set. And it has a dinosaur, which he absolutely loves, and it has like an art set, which she loves, so it's just going to be the perfect thing. And I got this on Amazon. This was, I believe, $12. And then both kiddos are totally into Transformer Rescue Bots. And I got one of these sets for Colt for Christmas, only it was Blades and Danny, which is his absolute favorite. He actually used to pretend his finger was Danny, who is like the girl character, and he loves her. So he like flipped his wig when it came to this set. So anyways, um, he's going to love Optimus Prime and having Cody. The thing I love about this set is that they don't transform, and they're designed for younger kiddos. So they're really kind of indestructible, whereas some of the other characters um, that can move a lot and transform are more breakable. So this is suited for a four-year-old. Okay, so I am so excited about this gift. Colt is a sensitive little guy. He absolutely loves dolls. He loves to play house, um, and he always sleeps with a million stuffies. So he is kind of been wanting his own doll. But a lot of d dolls that are designed for boys are so creepy looking, and they cost a lot of money, and I don't want a creepy, costly doll for my son. So I came across this company called Wonder Crew. And they have four different dolls, and so you get to obviously pick which one you want. Um, and they're soft, and they're huggable, um, and they are a 15-inch doll. They come with like a cape and a superhero mask for you. And you can order these guys on their website. I think it's wondercrew.com. However, I actually found them on Amazon, um, and they were cheaper on Amazon than they were with buying them on their website. Um, and I watched them over over Christmas to find the best price and they eventually went down to $15 um, but they're normally around 20 so really a great price and I'm so excited to give this to him and we also got him this little clothing set for his doll and again it comes with the hat and there's the dino he's so obsessed with them he's gonna be so excited and I cannot wait to give him this little doll he's gonna be so happy so that is um, the gifts that we are giving him. Uh, a lot of the stuff, like I said, it came from Amazon, really inexpensive, and I bought things kind of around Christmas time when there were really great sales, so I'm excited. <laughs> it's just gonna be our little family together tonight. Um, everybody kind of has to work, like for my extended family, and my in-laws are actually away on a trip, so it's just gonna be us tonight, and then we're gonna have a family celebration with the whole crew at the end of the week. Okay, so here's how everything turned out once wrapped. Um, <laughs> I did not have another kind of boyish looking gift bag or tissue paper, so that's just going to have to be that. 
he is not going to care one lick about polka dots and I didn't have tissue paper for this bag either but how cute is this bag this is from Dollar Tree adorable and this wrapping paper is also from Dollar Tree as well so a couple years ago I bought a bag of Christmas bows um, on an after Christmas special they were like a dollar and I got tons and tons of bows and I just coordinate my wrapping paper with the bows so that I always have a bow. This red glitter paper is actually something that we used for Christmas. This is um, from Hallmark. It's really nice paper but it really coordinates nicely with the red in this um, Dollar Tree paper and his little gift bag. And then this is Aubrey's gift, and then we just have these two party hats left over from Aubrey's birthday, and I'll just set them with their plates tonight for dinner. So that's just kind of a look at how life is rolling. <laughs>